nerds and nerdettes, welcome to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. We are from InsertCoinToBegin.com. You can find us over there at the website where we post daily news for gamers, by gamers, with gamers, in gamers, on gamers. <laughs> You can find us on Google Plus, Twitter dirty. at Insert Coin TB. We you can email us at Insert Coin to Begin at Gmail dot com, Facebook, iTunes. We are everywhere you want to be and more. Joining me this week, we gave Fuzzy the week off, so we have Riz and Bobby FJ Town. Say hello, Howdy guys. Howdy. Hi. I said, say hello, guys. I said hello. Hello, guys. All right. Guys. And girls. So, in I, case you I, haven't I, listened to this show before, this is how it I, works. We cover four topics each week. First three with a time limit. Last one also with a time limit, but it gets all the time that you can have left. You can join us every Tuesday night. Eight-ish. Ish, so, it doesn't really have a time limit. At live.sorgatronmedia.com. And join the chat room where we will talk back to you. I sang that one. All right, so let's let's start with the question that leads off every single episode. What are you playing, and did you play the challenge? As a reminder, last week's challenge was Kitten Cannon, where you had to launch a kitten as far as you could without getting mauled, I guess. Um, it was available over at AddictingGames.com and other various gaming websites across the web. Bobby, what are you playing, and did you play the challenge? I did play the challenge this week. I got a score of 1,181 feet. Uh, sadly, my uh, little kitten hit the spikes and died. All right. RIP, little kitten. Um, I also played some street, Super Street Fighter 4 with my cousin this weekend. Uh, I had family reunion this weekend, and uh, my cousin Alex and I were playing a, a bunch of different games on Xbox. Uh, we played a 10 second match on WWE 12 by accident. Uh, I, was, I was CM Punk and he was Rey Mysterio and Rey Mysterio went for a kick and missed I picked him up uh, I hit him, he fell down and I accidentally hit the pin button and he couldn't figure out how to get up So, and we had a good laugh about that um, I've been playing Marvel's Avengers Alliance still uh, still trying to un what, unlock the White Queen damn you White Queen and that's about it alright Rizzy I was on vacation. I don't care. <laughs> but I did play video games just because I wanted to be on this show. Uh, so I played a lot of Wii and Wii Sports and Mario Kart Wii. And those games sucked through my whole lifetime <laughs> at, the, at the beach. Did you play the challenge? No, I did not. I did not know the challenge. You so, fail. Well, you suck. Uh, I played but the challenge. My high score was 1087. I could not beat Bobby or WrestleFan. WrestleFan <laughs> beat... WrestleFan set the high score before we even finished yeah, the episode I know. last week. Last week, He's yeah. not on the show. So, I, I mean, he... It's amazing. Uh, he should kid, be an insert coin to begin fan for our show. The kid, uh, <laughs> the kid needs some... Needs a life. Um, I, I played... What did I play? I played Fight Night, I played Batman, I played Call of Duty, and uh, I played this week's challenge. I've actually been playing it for a while. Uh, this week's challenge is worldsbiggestpacman.com. Holy crap, wow. it is huge. Uh, if the way this website works, if you've never heard of it, and if you've never heard of it, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what cave you've been in. But <laughs> World's Biggest Pac-Man is fan-made Pac-Man boards all interconnected and you just keep going until you die. Uh, you don't even have wow. to finish the board to move on. You just have to get to the port to take you to the next level. Hmm. Uh, Somewhere right now, Billy Mitchell is saluting the American flag. I know. He, he's, <laughs> he's Billy gonna, Mitchell's probably uh, <laughs> Billy Mi doing something <laughs> under a curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Mitchell is standing there with a bottle of his barbecue sauce a raging hard on <laughs> Saluting the American flag, saying "God bless America," and he's also pissed off because he can't beat the high score on World's Biggest Pac-Man. Where is he hanging that American flag tie? <laughs> From his crotch. Um. So yeah, um, it was a, uh, you know, 
a pretty normal week for me. Um, so yeah, this week's challenge is worldsbiggestpacman.com. Um, I was so into this game at one point that I started it on a slow Friday at work at probably about 10 o'clock in the morning, and I let it go. I, I, I finished the board and left it there at, when I left the office at 4.30 and continued it back on it Monday morning when I got in. <laughs> uh, I, I think that uh, stretch of time I beat um, 50 or so boards, <laughs> and I had so many lives stocked up because you get a life every uh, 10,000 points regardless. I had so many that when I died, if I gained any points, it would just give me a new life. <laughs> so, awesome. uh, yeah. Um, you can go play it at worldsbiggestpacman.com and you can sign in with your Facebook ID and it'll keep track of your stuff. Um, the, the cool thing about World's Biggest Pac-Man is that it has level-by-level level stats. Um, you can see how many times the, that particular stage has been played, how many dots have been eaten on it, how many ghosts have been eaten on it, how many times it's been beaten, and how many lives have been lost. All on each level. And when you log in, it'll tell you your particular stats uh, the, the same, but what you've done on there. So I, I highly recommend it. It's lots of fun. So go uh, go play. Not right now. We got a whole show left. Right, right. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm, we, I'm we gotta, playing we it now. Do the show it, now. Shut up. They can <laughs> play and listen or watch. Just leave them alone. Go. Go play, all right? Go play. No, no. Watch us first. Uh, Matt Matt in the chat room said he played Minecraft, as always, and he started playing Borderlands and The Witcher. See, we include the chat room in the discussion. Mm -hmm. So, it, type away. Typey, typey, typey. <laughs> all right, next question. <laughs> um, we all have, as gamers and nerds, we all have rituals that we tend to follow when it comes to spending uh, a night in gaming and that includes particular beverages uh, particular snacks the chair we sit in the clothes we wear if any um so chachi what hey i wear boxers and a t-shirt naked i do not i wear boxers and a t-shirt um next question uh we'll start with riz this time uh Gamer Fuel, what's your snack slash beverage of choice when you sit down to play? I chose two weird things. But first of all, I'd like the Reese's peanut butter sticks. The sticks, not the cups. The st crunchy wafer sticks. Yeah, the Kit Kats, they're, but Reese's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. And they are delicious. And also, uh, Dr. Pepper 10. I'm trying to keep, you know my caloric and take down but a little known fact a bottle of dr pepper 10 20 calories Ooh! just 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 throwing it out there Very false nice. advertising but still delicious dr pepper you now owe us money mm -hmm. <laughs> i expect a check bobby um, I usually drink uh, a local tea here in Johnstown uh, called Gallagher's 50-50. Uh, it's like an Arnold Palmer. Um, if you don't know what an Arnold Palmer is, it's half lemonade, half iced tea. Uh, that's like one of my favorite things to drink. And probably snack would either be Fritos or Gummy Savers, Gummy Lifesavers. Gotcha. So. Uh, it, when I, well, originally, it was uh, my answer was Mountain Dew. A, as a beverage, but I realized that working a desk job for 40 hours a week and pounding Mountain Dews, um, I, I've got a bit of a gut going on. <laughs> I, I call it my, my desk, my desk gut. Um, you have so, a bit of a gut. What do I have? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I changed from Mountain Dew recently and I, I, it's either vitamin water, life water, or Gatorade normally. Um, if it's a full-on marathon, then I'll throw in an occasional uh, non-carbureted uh, energy drink, depending on, you know, how long I'm going to be sitting there playing and if I need the energy to stay awake or not. And I also throw in coffee. Um, but as far as snacks go, um, Slim Jims, 
uh, beef jerky or barbecue Fritos. They have to be barbecue Fritos or I'm not gaming. <laughs> like, I, I seriously have a desk drawer set up near my gaming station that usually has the majority of this stuff in it. Office lady snacks. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's an office lady snack drawer at my house <laughs> um, for gaming purposes only. Um, I, I, I don't know. I'm a creature of habit. I, I like... I like making sure the stuff is there. What can I say? Yep. All right. Moving on, because uh, I don't want to talk about food anymore. Oh, wait. Nobody nobody um, picked the uh, gamer f- food thing that they had come out with. Ugh, that's disgusting. I don't, what are you talking it was, about? It was like a cup of things you just dump in your mouth. <laughs> what? It was, like, it was just the, the, one of the grossest things ever. I guess it was for people that like played World of Warcraft. They just like had a cup, and you could just dump it in your mouth and keep playing your game. It was like called Gamer Fu- Food or Gamer Fuel or something like that. Yeah, they were like pizza flavored or something. Ugh, that was I the weirdest. Even, I didn't even want to try that. That was stuff. the weirdest thing I've never I've ever heard. I, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, tell me where I can get such a thing. How about GamerFuel.com? Well, is it, you mean I have to order from a website? I can't like go on and buy it at a store. Oh, they got zesty, savory, and sweet. That is dumb. Fine, I'm not ordering that crap from Six the website. Six bag sampler. Try out gamer food for twenty bucks. No, twenty bucks. Hold on, they Try got it they got they got a video. Oh we're man, not, we're not fish. We're <laughs> oh no. Where? Why is he taking apart the controller? Because dubstep makes you do strange and utterly impossible things. What? Is that it? Is this still going? So, if you eat this... Put it in your mouth and badass blank will happen. Huh. <laughs> Does it say blank? Um, <laughs> badass diarrhea. <laughs> Listen, we've already talked about full-on raging hard-ons. You can say yeah. shit. Yeah, say that's it. true. And well, no, it was, it was, it was it. all cuberted. Oh. Uh, shit. That's fitting, then. Wait, I mean, then look at the look on the side of the site. It says every bag of gamer feud has the same energy as three cups of coffee or three energy drinks. In okay, Whoa. first off, that shit is dangerous then, because you're like not supposed to drink more than three energy drinks in a twenty four hour time period. And I know how I am with snack foods. That means I die. They're trying to kill Chachi. No, I'm boycotting game, game fuel, whatever. You start eating it, and you see, start seeing dubstep. <laughs> yeah, it's impossible to see dubstep. You'll see like wub gum across your face every five <laughs> seconds. It'll like flash in your face. <laughs> Strobe lights just flaring at you with no reason. Okay, um, <laughs> that would be, be kick-ass superpower. I can see dubstep. <laughs> Well, that's also called acid. So I don't think- Remind me to have the uh, resident artist on the site draw up a comic <laughs> to this effect. I, I think I think that needs to be the inaugural. I think so. The inaugural I think uh, we found it. Uh, for insert coin to begin. <laughs> Game fuel. It'll make you see dubstep. <laughs> get like get like Keanu Reeves. I know dubstep. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. (laughs) I just pictured it in my head, and it's funny. It's even funnier if you picture the sad Keanu face. I know Dubstep. Because he he looks so sad, and he's like, I know Dubstep. Sad face. (laughs) Um, With the new generation of consoles on their way, what is it that you would like to see, Riz? Well, first... The price, it's one thing. Fair enough. And the ability to have, like, for DVDs, they have those little uh, digital copies that you can get. That you can get with the D- with the DVD hard copy DVD. 
Okay. So you just pl- plug in your game or something like that. Get and it, it's up to you if you want to download it or use the game itself. And I just feel that it'll cost a little bit extra, a little bit less. Well, than, time out. Yes, um, you can do that now on the Xbox. Shut your face. I mean, you can you can install the game to your hard drive. No, no. Mm-mm. It's you exactly what he's talking about. You still have to have the disc, though. Yeah. I meant out of the disc. Oh, Not well, they're doing that anyhow. They're getting rid of disc. You know that. No, I'm saying get the disc, a hard copy of the disc, plug it in your, in your Xbox or Wii or something like that or your next generation game, and then download it to your hard drive so you can do whatever you want with your copy, with your hard copy. If you want to sell it, get more money from it. Uh, they would put they would put they, stuff they, they in. They would, they would do that. something there. Yeah, 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 they would put and, protection and, in place. And stuff I was strong because I with the digital copy experience I have, it just links up with iTunes. So I can download it everywhere. Uh, so I, but I don't know if that's everything. And plus, the ultraviolet is all in the cloud. It's in the cloud. That'd be great if they did that. You bought a disc yeah. and you can just download it like it was on Steam or something. Yeah, through the cloud. Mm-hmm. So you have like an offline version? Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, that's good. That would be entertaining. Thanks for stealing my stuff. Good job. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Bobby. Bobby. Um, I I want to see from Nintendo's next generation an HD Zelda game that they promised with that tech demo. Yeah. Um, uh, just I I really want to see new innovative styles of games. Um, just something different, not like first person shooter, something like you know what I mean. Just different things. Uh, I want to see... It's probably something that will never come as a sequel to Mega Man Legends, but I really want to see that. I love that game. Um, and better integration with Kinect and better Kinect games for Xbox. I, I heard there's a rumor that they're going to have uh, Kinect 2, and they showed like a demo of it, and you can like see your fingers moving this time and stuff like that, which, yay. Just do do be- make better games for it. That's it. I want an interactive Pac-Man game. Where you can I, I, eat I'll, gamer I'll, fuel? No. <laughs> like I, how do how do you how do you make Pac-Man interactive? With the Kinect. So you're moving around. I, you're running fighting. in place. You're running in place in a 3D Pac-Man world environment. And then you're going like this the whole time. Like this, yeah. No, you don't have to move the mouth. The alligator chomp. No, I, I don't. I don't think you should have to move the mouth. I just think that uh, it. Well, also, if they're talking about the the AR that they want to put into the next <laughs> Xbox, I, I just think it would be amazing. I, I want a new Pac-Man game. That's what Make I'm a- getting at. Make that's, a microphone Pac-Man game. You have Pac-Man. to go waka 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 waka. Let's <laughs> move. That would, that would be cool. I wonder if you could do that with the DJ Hero turntable. <laughs> <laughs> like you just, again, you just turn, turn scratch back step. and forth. <laughs> <laughs> you just turn scratch back and forth and move the uh, the tuner, and Pac-Man runs around the board eating everything. That would be fun. Yeah, it would. You use the uh, someone needs to hack it and make it happen. But use the DJ the DJ Hero turntable to control Pac-Man. Yes? You turn you turn the uh, the record control, and that's the way Pac-Man goes. It's like a, a home version of the, the ball in console or arcade game thing. I'm losing you. Did I lose you? I lost him. I lost Sorg. Sorg's gone. I lost oh, him. No. Fine. Moving on. Sword. Boss fight. Oh, I couldn't get my phone in time. What? I was going to play the, play the Mega Man boss stage select hmm. sound. Boss fight. That's okay. Boss <laughs> fight. It's not really an argument. It's more of a, a discussion. Um, would you willingly work for a game developer? Bobby. Yes. As opposed to unwillingly? Yes. Like, I'm being held or? against my will to work for the game company. <laughs> no, I, I would. Um, I want to do something that is creative uh i i want to i i i don't want a job that i'm stuck like kind of where i'm at, at now but um i want i want to be creative 
and this that would allow me to be creative. Um, if if there's any uh, the self plug here, if there's any uh, gra if people need a graphic designer, I'm available. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it would be fun to work for a game company, uh, designing games, uh, even doing like story uh, story writing stories for the games. Anything like that would be fun to me. Riz? Uh, yeah, I'm on the same same way, wavelength as Bob here, but I don't have that software development degree or well, associates yeah. or whatever. But it would be fun to do something, like make a game that you like because you like playing video games. So it, I think it would be cool getting the next next generation up to speed and up to date with why you're into gaming. And who knows, maybe you can inspire someone else. See, I... With and the, Chachi's uh, about to break everybody's heart. With the... the Hopes uh, and dreams. Well, I mean, well, we read the news every day as far as gaming companies go. It's not a stable industry to work for. True. Offices are closing, divisions are being shut down... Uh, game series are being canceled, which leads to the above two. I mean, it's not exactly a stable environment. It, but new it, ones are also opening every day, yeah. too. Also, uh, Matt in the chat room brings up an excellent point that both of you forget. If you worked for a gaming company, you don't own your ideas. True. Your ideas are no longer your ideas. There's the creative outlet. <laughs> there, there's no, there's no. Oh, I'm going to work to work on this game. But when I get home, I'm gonna go work on this game. But it's my own idea, and I'm gonna release myself. You're not allowed to do that. I'm gonna release the hounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, most most normal or most big enough game companies will have you sign paperwork that says. Anything you create while working there is theirs. That's why kind of Mega Man Legends isn't being made. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's yeah. why we're waiting for Conker's Bad Fur Day 2. Yeah. No one is waiting for that. No one. The, the internet is. I am. No, you're not. Fuck you. Did you just raise your hand? Yes, I did. <laughs> you are a jackass. We have earned that explicit tag this week. <laughs> I, that took. Uh, let's uh, see. We, uh, that that ahead, took we. that took three and a half minutes. We earned the explicit tag yeah. in three and a half minutes. <laughs> we said raging hard on, <laughs> 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 and and now and now my now friend Sorg, him. laughing behind the keyboard, has to slap that rated <laughs> R rating on there because someone couldn't keep it yeah. in his pants. <laughs> this ain't your pappy's game <laughs> podcast. Zero two K says the indie companies will will give you that, and yeah, they will. Um, but indie companies are also hoping that by giving you that freedom, you'll let them release that game. Like they'll give you credit for making it, and they'll give you your fair share for making it. But they're also hoping that they're gonna be like, "Oh, let us, you know, let us slap our name on it and help us out, somebody, buddy. Come on, pal. I'm not your pal, friend. <laughs> like I, 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 I picture, I picture indie companies like discovering you have a game and then taking you out for like 18 shots of tequila." Trying to convince you that you know they should you should let them release that game, and then I'll be like, "Oh, we'll give you a nice cut of it, and 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 and, and an office with fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy teddy bears in it that you can Fuzzy's just, gonna be there that you can cuddle teddy with and, and and eat. I don't want to eat teddy bears. Shut up! I want to eat fuzzy teddy bears <laughs> unless they're covered in gamer fuel. Teddy bears, teddy bears covered in gamer fuel. <laughs> um, Jehovah says he's waiting for Shenmue three. No, you're not. No, nobody. No is one, no one is that. waiting for Shenmue three. Put your hand down. 
You! Behind my there. Hand, my hand is not down. I up. love Shenmue! No, you don't! I haven't don't. even played the second one, but I love the first one, and it didn't even have an ending! <laughs> I'm waiting I'm waiting for Echo the Dolphin. Listen, I have a bag full of quarters. Okay? <laughs> if you want to play Shenmue that bad, we'll go up to the IGA, and you can okay, buy bubble thought, shit! Please. You can buy toys out of the bubble machine all night long. I thought Chachi was gonna threaten Sorg there for a minute. And then we can, and then we can go find forklifts at the loading docks down the strip, and you can drive those around for and we more. We can quarters. raise them. Yes. For free. For free in real life, IRL, if you will. How's that sound, buddy? I'm cosplaying you, as forklifts. You want to go race forklifts? <laughs> Do you want to go race forklifts? <laughs> what is that? I'm cosplaying as a forklift. Do you want to go lift forklifts? Wait. Race, race forklifts? Lift forklifts. <laughs> forklift? Forklift? Uh, and Matt wants uh, Half-Life 3. Zero says, but the company doesn't matter as long as the game is the thing you wanted to create. Uh, that depends. It depends on, once again, what company it is. Because a huge company, it, you're not going to get any it's credit. It's going to be more than that. It's, if you want to be part of a team that made something cool, you know? And, and you got to start somewhere to be that guy that can make the thing that he wants. I, I'm part of a team that makes something cool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't work for a game company. Yeah. Wow. Anyhow, that's about all the time we have for you I this week. Us. Oh, oh, one more thing uh, that I would like to see from a next-gen console. 3D dubstep? No. Porn. Lego. Lego Sha Shawshank Redemption. Bro, oh, come on. We're not doing this again. We're not doing this sorry. again. We're not. Uh, Lego, also Lego Free Willy. <laughs> uh, Complete with Michael Jackson's soundtrack. Lego Deep Blue Sea. Lego uh, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter is Dead. <laughs> Echo the Lego Dolphin 2. I want Echo the Dolphin 2. Uh, not, not that was just a thought I had. Lego, Lego Echo the Dolphin. Lego, Lego, Echo, Echo the Dolphin. Lego Leonard Part 6. <laughs> You've been listening to or watching Insert Coin to Begin Presents Lego, Let's Play. Let's Play. Legos, honey, I shrank the kids from you the chat can, room. You can find us on <laughs> Gmail at Insert Coin to Begin at gmail.com. We're on Twitter at Insert Coin TV. We're on Facebook. We're on Google Plus. We're on iTunes. Like and subscribe to us, please. Lego Labyrinth from the chat room. Please. Lego Ghost Dad. <laughs> Lego, <Wow. they> live. <laughs> Lego, follow that bird. <laughs> oh, oh, nice! Yes, I win. <laughs> Lego, that's, Debbie does that. That's all the time we have for you, Lego Ghost. <laughs> oh, <R. I>. <laughs> I am Chachi Lego says Roadhouse. at Chachi says on Twitter <laughs> that is at Bobby F J Town. Lego over the top. Oh. Lego Rocky. Lego Raging Bull. Wait, no, let me that change would, that. Uh, Lego Rocky 4. That would be awesome. <laughs> Lego Android robot thing. Le Lego Masters of the Universe. Uh, Lego, Lego Transformers. <laughs> Lego G.I. Joe. Lego Thundercats. I can do this all day. Lego Gem. Lego Power Rangers. <laughs> Lego Gem. Lego Power Rangers, what that's it! We are done! No more! You can find us at insertcointobegin.com where we write gaming news for gamers, by gamers, on gamers, and gamers, around gamers. I am at Chauncey Says, that's at Bobby FJ Town, at Riz IUP on Twitter. If you add us, we will at you back. That's not a promise. I will. Maybe. I will respond if you at me on Twitter. I might even follow you if what you say is funny enough. That's your challenge. Go make me laugh on Twitter. Thank you for watching, and we'll You're see you next time, nerds. Out. Make me. Laugh.